As those scorching temperatures continue here in the valley, fire experts warning the public to be very careful as well when installing window air conditioning units. CBS 4's Joel Flores explains. Right now, with the temperatures being at 100 degrees every single day, uh, people are going to want their air conditions to, to work at their uh, minimum, you know, to the maximum. The appliance many rely on to keep cool during triple digit temperatures could potentially be a fire risk. Jesus Martinez of Alamo learned the hard way Wednesday morning when the AC unit in his son's room turned into a fire. We just have one working outlet in the house. Since the AC unit didn't reach, we connected it to an extension cord. That was the mistake. Erika Garcia saw fire crews at Jesus's house Wednesday and fears with the scorching heat. One of her AC units could overheat and set on fire as well. I prefer to buy new AC units, but we can't due to how expensive they are. That's why it's easier sometimes to get a used one, but we need to make sure it's running fine because they overheat, especially with this heat. A lot of the homes, I said, uh, have circuits, and a lot of people overload those circuits, and those circuits are pretty much being overloaded by the air conditioner alone. So make sure not to uh, plug in multiple things on that circuit. Well, I'm at least happy right now that nothing worse happened. Material things can always be replaced. Chief Lopez recommends you regularly clean out your air filters, avoid using an extension cord to power on your AC unit, and do not wire any new outlets. In Hidalgo County, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. It's also recommended you turn off the window unit when you do leave the home for the day.